Hello guys and welcome back to Tigers to the top episode 3. Before I start I want to talk about the lag real quick. The lag hasn't been too bad yet because um, yeah, all the goals, all the highlights you were able to see. There are some freezes here and there but uh, yeah. Um, I think I might might have found the solution maybe. I think it's um, especially because it, the thing is my laptop was um, really overheating. It was not because I be, uh, was recording. The same happened even worse when I playing FM without recording, without doing anything else. And um, I think it's because yeah my laptop is overheating. I think it's because of my fans. There's too much dust and stuff, so I did. Um, I tried to basically remove the dust as best as possible, and since then it worked quite perfectly. Of course, the fans still working and still getting and uh, not really hot to be honest. It's like the same as if you would lose like uh, Firefox or whatever, and everything was working perfectly throughout all the time. So I hope it's better now. If not. Then my only options are to either turn down the quality, I don't want that, go to 2D, I don't want that, don't show any kind of games, I don't want to do that, or don't upload until I have a PC, but that could still take 2-3 weeks, maybe a month, I don't know. So I hope it's really working, otherwise I will see what I have to do. Well, since the last episode, I think that after the last episode we had 8 games, so now we have 13. A lot has happened, the tactics have not changed. But the team has changed a bit. What can you see? Well, first of all, a lot of injuries. We have a funny story about, um, where is he? Joe Hanks. He was injured for two months or something. Got back. Oh, that was my neck. <laughs> he got back and um, he was there for like two, three days. He played one game. And you know what then happened? Exactly. He got injured again. Or what he had was food poisoning out for three weeks. God damn it, man. Except of this, <clears throat> sorry, nothing really bad happened except of one thing. Tom Webb, decent player, just a backup. He's injured for not one month, not two, not three, but 10 to 11. Now it's 11, uh, 9 to 11 because he was injured like two weeks ago. He is completely out. Because he's quite old and will completely miss the rest of the season, he um, thinks about retiring. I told him um, that I would still use him if he will come back, so he does not have to retire because he still might have a chance to play for us. But what I think is good, what is going on with my voice, man? <clears throat> I just recorded Schalke, everything was fine, now it's bad. Um, I, to um, I told him he can still play, but because he is thinking about the time and stuff, he uses the time to learn how to be a coach. So right now he is doing his, um, if you don't know how to call that, I think you call that national licensee or the worst you can do. It takes four months. If it always takes four months, then he will definitely do um, license B as well and might even upgrade to license A because that will take 12 months and he is out for 10 to 11. And the last like month he is back is basically the preseason or the first month. So I definitely want him to do it, and then he might be like an amazing um, uh, coach for us, or assistant coach, or goes to the under 21, under uh, 28, uh, feet, to be honest, on under 18s or whatever. So very happy with that. That also my assistant coach and stuff said that I should do my license B. I have decided to not do it yet, but I think I will do it soon. Um, my next license, but yet it's not too important. That's all that changed about that tactics. We got in a new player, so of course Joe Hanks is back and he is our best center mid to cam. He is by far the best one, so he will play whenever he's fit. I got an another player, Fitzgerald. I got two new players. Fitzgerald is one of them. I just had to sign them. I did it after the injury. He's 18, came to center mid, current ability of 3 star, potential 4 to 5 star, and I mean he has decent stats. Especially his parking and technique as well as his pace and is really decent. The huge problem that's in, I mean his mental stats are also really decent. Vision, decisions, these stats like corners, dribbling, finishing, um, long shots and stuff is completely bad. And also stuff like um, his stamina, his, for example, is extremely bad. So he definitely has to improve a lot yet. Definitely Joe Hanks is our best one and if I compared him, or well, I, com I did compare him to, um, I forgot the name man, the other sentiment we have, 
uh, Palmer and Fitzgerald has better pace, he's better in technique, better in passing and that's it and everything else Palmer is basically better so Palmer will be my second choice so normally I would play with Drew Hanks as number 10 so as attacking playmaker and Palmer as center mid support maybe switch it up between these two Fitzgerald would be my backup and Tom Webb would be my fourth choice but now he's out Another signing is Jay Wallens. He is, as you can see, a winger, so he basically can play as right mid, right uh, winger, left mid, left winger, or striker. I didn't know if I really need him. The, my assistant coach and all the scouts who scouted him told me I should sign him whatever the price. The thing is, I saw his stats. He has some decent dribbling, but he is not really pacey. He is not really amazing in the um, shooting or dribbling, passing. These mental sets, but he is not really amazing. Current ability of like two and a half stars in a wing position is really not the problem. The thing is, I got him. I don't know if I can show you. Yep, yeah, I got him for zero, and that's why I did it. I don't have to even. I don't. It's n if he's playing, if he's not playing, if he's getting injured. Whatever happened, I will never pay a penny. And so I said, okay, I will get another option for the winger or striker position, who might actually be decent for the rest of the season. And without ever, there's no option, nothing, without ever um, paying a penny. And so I said, why not? Why not just do it? Of course, you can see, he, I can use him in cup game. He can be, um, can be recalled, but normally he's always just a backup. So I don't really care. And if he's actually improving and I like him, then I might keep him. But uh, yeah, at the moment, as you were able to see, he is going down in everything. Um, I don't think he will play a lot for us, but maybe just if, just in case because especially now We got a lot of injuries as we were able to see Yeah, that's more or less it. There's nothing really I have to um, say Rugwani Skinner will be now in front of um, Samara uh, Zuma, um, Zum, My goodness, I can't speak again um, Samora Imo, he is of course decent still, but uh, I just need Skinner Did I tell you that my strikers are not scoring? Well, it changed. <laughs> well, let's go to the um, games. We started off. Okay, nothing is happening for me. What's going on? Okay, that was interesting. Um, it's not overheating, so everything is fine. So as you can see, we started off with a game against last place. I told you it should be an easy win. We played horrible and we lost in a really deserved way. It was a well-deserved loss. Two late goals, yes, but it was so gotten well-deserved. After the one for them, I would uh, went all out attack, and so that was just a counter attack to go a uh, second. But they were not able to score a lot. We conceded, and um, they conceded all so many. Oh, I'm so unhappy about that because it's so stupid. They're still last place. They have won actually the last game as well, but before that, they lost everything. At that point, they had zero wins, one draw, and seven losses when I played against them. And now, they still have 10 less. Oh, I'm really unhappy about that. But except of this, we are doing really decent, as you can see. We uh, then the next game in the FA Cup second round of qualification. Um, Tom Page has one league be, uh, below us, Samora with another goal. So we got through to one fourth, uh, the, uh, the third qualification round. In the league, we played against a decent team. New Nate, or however you say that, fourth place. I told you we played against most of these top teams, most of like the top seven. We played against Walker, Esther, Hurricane, Newton, Teamford, Fiddle, uh, Fidel, I think, Fidel, uh, uh, yeah, and I think Kidderminster, but I'm not sure. But we played against most of them, and we played amazing. We considered two stupid goals, but you can see they got an own goal. It was more or less a goal. They with a goal, um, they got equally as a, uh, a two-one. We straight away scored the third. Samora made it all clear. They got one, but it was an amazing win. Oh, then we played against Harrogate, and I'm oh I'm so unhappy. I mean, they were huge favorites. Another team up here, Harrogate, sixth place, and we played amazing. We were the huge underdogs. The last time we were such a huge underdogs, we were against Clyde, a flight, and we played amazing. Skinner Dale, just in the start of the second half, two quick goals. We might have won it. I didn't want to go too defensive too early, so I decided like after 70 minutes. We considered the 2-1, the then I went completely defensive. Unfortunately, we considered the 2-all, but at that point I was still happy. I said, okay, 
but the Comedian scored two goals within three minutes, then we considered two within like five minutes. It's completely fine. Just get the two old war. Two minutes or three minutes, I'm two or three, I'm not sure. Minutes extra time. And we conceded it. Oh, we, we have so many. The games we lose are so stupid. You know, the games we lose are always so stupid. A sh unnecessary loss here. Then this was okay. That was just so... We were so much better against them. Then against this team and now this one. Oh, such a stupid loss. Well, okay. Then we played against Eastburn Bow. Um, who are a decent team in the second... Uh, in the same lead, Bow Wolf. I don't know how to say that. Um, they, we are in the Venagrama North, they are in the South, and they were 6th place when we played against them. Okay, now they dropped down to 11th, but you see it's close. So they were huge favorites, and we just smashed them. <laughs> I mean, Hamilton, own goal, they got clear, but another own goal, and then Knowles. The own goals were more or less goals. I think just this one against Matsuoko was really an own goal. A stupid one, the second one was more or less a goal, so it shouldn't have counted as an own goal in my opinion. We just smashed them. I decided to also play the game against Halifax real quick because um, I wanted to show you this one, the game against Dark Red, because the last qualification round, if we can do it, we would be in the FA Cup. It's the last qualification round. Against Halifax, we got, um, we were huge um, underdogs again because again, they are a decent team. Oh no, they're actually not that good anymore, but they were, I, am, and, I mean, in most games we are underdogs. Like 95% of the games we are underdogs. There might be like four or five games we might actually be the favorites. Huge underdogs and down, but we scored. We were down again. I uh, know we made we made the equalizer. Sorry, Bobby Day with another two goals. He scores a lot now. We made the comeback, considered one, and then I was not sure if I should go defensive because it was a decent tour. But I said we are actually doing really good. We are in decent form. He's scoring a lot of goals. And we are playing at home. I, I decided to not go defensive. And that worked. Bobby Dale. Three minutes before the end. 3-2. And so we are doing really, really, really decent in the league. As you can see in 13 games. 4 losses, 4 draws, 5... Uh, 4 wins, 4 draws, 5 losses. And a goal difference of 0. So more or less completely even. We are already um, 6 points in front of the bottom 3. So we are doing way better than the, these teams and are just 7 points in for, uh, away from the playoffs. Not too important to see the difference to the playoffs, but still we are doing decent mid-table plays and we are performing. And we did not play against Darlington or what, I, I don't know, against these teams we have not played against. So they, we played against big teams. If you can compete, uh, uh, keep the form against like, let's say, in these, against these teams you should get like 3 wins or 2 and 5 games and a loss maybe then. Yeah. So, really happy, board confidence therefore is quite high, I think it was 53% last episode, now it's 58 They want me to reach the fourth, uh, fourth qualification round, we did it now, and um, yeah, so this is the last thing I can show you today. If we can win against them, of course they're huge favorites, um, we would be in the FA Cup, or what I can say, because of all the wins, the fines are now going up a lot, as you can see, the income is increasing a lot. Of course, we still made a, um, um, uh, a loss because, it's, especially in the start, we made a huge loss. We had at least, I think, we had like 12, 13k, and uh, yeah, 13, 14, and gone down to like minus 20. So we made a huge loss of like 30k, more or less. Yeah, it's basically 30k, and now we're going to up again to like um, just um, um, yeah, a loss of 11k. So. We are, we are really doing good financial-wise as well, I would say. And if we can actually win this game, we would again get a few thousand euros. Like maybe 10, 11, so we should be at like around zero. Because the last time, we, uh, the first creation round, no, the second one got 5k. And the third one we got, I think, 8.5k. And now it's the fourth, so we should get like 10, 11k. Um, and of course we would be in FA Cup, so we would again get some money, so it would help us a lot, but Dark and Red of course are the big favorites. I love them a lot, I I think my first game would, I mean, you know, I was always an ultimate team player and I was really, bad, uh, really, really good. I mean, I don't want to say like I was amazing, but I would definitely say I was like at least in the top 1000 of whole Germany. I was in a really decent ultimate player because for like 2-3 years, every day I had any minute of free time 
I just played FIFA. Like, I'm not, uh, not bullshitting, I played so much Ultimate Team. So many hours a day, you don't even know. I played so much Ultimate Team, I was a skiller and I played amazing. I was really, really good. I could have taken part in big tournaments, but it was nothing for me really to make this competitive. Um, and uh, when I got my um, PS4, the new generation, for whatever reason, you just then had to start paying to play online, which does not make sense. Sony just gets out games, online games, and then they want you to pay for online. For me, that was so much bullshit that I yeah, never ever, instead of once for I think two, three months because of YouTube, because I was, uh, was thinking about the Ultimate Team series, but I just think I made five episodes and then stopped it. Um, yeah, I've never paid it, so that's why I become or became um, a career mode YouTuber, uh, a career mode player, now a YouTuber, but career mode player. My, I think my first game mode I ever did, because I always loved the idea of the World to Glory, was with Dark and Red. And yeah, so I love them a lot. Um, they're not doing amazing, they got down to the National League, so they're just one league in front of us, and they're not doing completely amazing for 8th place. They are the huge favorites. But maybe if you can have another good performance, we might have a chance. We will see now if you can actually have a chance. Hardly Scott, oh, this guy wants him so badly. The thing is, he's he was a free agent. He has some amazing sets, a huge potential. And he's actually playing a league below us. If I'm not wrong. I think that he is actually... No, wait. Let me see. Yeah, he is actually... We are in the 6th league. They are in the 7th. They're actually a league below us, a league below us, but you have no chance to get him. They want a lot of money. I mean, he has a value of, I think, like 25k. I asked them if they would give, I if, thought about if they would give me like him for like 5, 10k, I would do it. They want 100k. And if there is, I mean, if a team in the seventh league <laughs> wants 100k for a player, then you know that he's decent. I would love to have him, but at the moment there is no chance. We def definitely need a lot of money. Well, there's nothing to say. Let's go into the game. Dranks will of course play instead of Fitzgerald. We'll play here. We don't really need to change anything because everybody is working decently. Look at the performances by Dale, for example. Like 7.8 average. All the performances are really amazing. Joe Hanks, of course, because he was injured a lot. We weren't really there doing decent. Our goalkeeper was doing decent. Our center backs are finally doing decent. It's working. It is really, really decent. It's just working, so I'm very happy about that. Straightaway highlight for them. Uh, oh, Jackson. Yes, Jackson. Oh, I like him a lot. I don't think I will pick Sink in there again, because Sink always, my opinion, I never had like a good opinion of Sink. He always did mistakes. But Ben Jackson. Amazing. Another highlight, 20 minutes in, maybe for us. Oh no, please. I mean, we can't play in a way game against a team who are big favorites and then get count and let them make counter attacks. Oh my god, that was lucky. But how? If you play in a way game against big favorites, against a team who is way better than you, then how are you letting them counter attack you? That's the worst thing you can do. 30 minutes played. It's still no, no, a decent resort. We might have a chance. Can he score Skinner? Skinner, that was a huge chance to score. Oh, if he would, if he would be, uh, be very efficient in front of the goal and would score like two attacks, two goals and have a decent defense, we can definitely do it. That was a huge chance for us. We might have another one. Oh, yeah, we got the ball. Thanks. No, come on. Oh no, they have the ball. Oh uh oh, they have the ball. It's almost half time, guys. Okay, we have the ball. Dale, what's going on? We have the ball. Okay, we, we let 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 it please be our highlight. Skinner, nice, nice. Palmer, Skinner, come on. Anybody? Hanks, pass it to Skinner, please. Where? What are you doing, Skinner? Champers, Hanks, Skinner. It counts. Does it count? It counts. Thirty-nine minutes played, ladies and gentlemen, and we are winning. This away game. What was that from Skinner? Huge mistake, but Chambers with an amazing pass to Hanks. What a save from Cousins. And then Skinner gets it. Oh my god, please get this one on half time. Guys, it is half time. And in the last qualification round of the FA Cup. And we are winning, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, we could do it. Please, 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 please. We're going extra, extra time. Two minutes extra time. Yes. This, this has to be it. 30 seconds. This has to be it, guys. I think we just qualified 
for, for the FA Cup by winning four qualification rounds, including a game away against Dagenwent. If that's not a good course, we got the ball. Ref, please, just pull the whistle back. I beg you, I beg so much. Do yes! L guys, we did it! Can you believe it? What an upset! Why is nobody happy? Are you goddamn kidding me? I'm impressed. Look, switch off. Are you actually kidding me? You just won this away game. Maybe one of the, definitely one of the biggest wins this team, this club ever had. And they don't even care. I, okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Skinner with the only goal in the whole day. We, we are in the FA Cup. We will have a look at the first one. Tour. We are in the FA Cup. That should, as, first of all, give us a lot of money. Second of all, we should get a lot of money again for the first round. This is amazing. Can you believe 14.5k? This will help our finance so much. 14.5. This season, it was in the start a minus of like 11. Now we have a profit of 18. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> look at this income. And we will play another round. Okay, this is ex this is amazing. Expansion is like, look at this income in the uh, like. We make every month. Basically, if we come, uh, we will of course not get the money, but if we play then if I cup again, we may would make like a profit of like 30k. This is this is amazing. God damn! World confidence up to 60%. So yeah, we are doing amazing, ladies and gentlemen. We are just doing amazing. We will end this episode with this um, draw of the first one of the FA Cup. And afterwards, I will end this episode and uh, will yeah then play then again a few games. I think the next time I will make an episode, I should be like halfway done through the series, so I should have at least like 20 games in the league. Because yeah, I think like in the fifth or sixth episode, I should have or like in the within like the first seven, maybe eight episodes, I should have been I should be able to go through this season. Well, yeah, let's go and um, I will have a quick look then at the tour. You can see my assist manager Matt Wars, um, starts now also on this national B. Okay, then one of the players is um, going for C. He is going for B, then of course I should do it as well. It's not too expensive. A box of B, four months. I think, yeah, I should do it as well now. It's a good time. So I think I will, starting next episode, I will be in there. If you don't know Kutzi, uh, or however you want to say that, um, then he's a YouTuber. I love him. One of the first YouTubers I've ever, um, the first FIFA YouTuber I've ever uh, subscribed. I love him a lot. He's doing F FM series with um, with Alfred and Town. So if you haven't seen it, then just go to my channel. So my channel, not my channel, not for you. So but my channel to be on Talix. And on the right you can see um, somebody a box where and with like my friends and he's in there. Definitely you should check it out. If you like FM, you need to check out him and his series. Future War, this is the last thing we will do in today's episode. 80 teams, uh, 87 teams, I think. Uh, oh, I didn't, I didn't want to do that, man. Ah, oh, God damn it. Okay. I don't see myself. Okay, here we are. Shrewsbury. Not that long ago. Okay, it's quite a long time ago. But yeah, they were actually in our league as well. So, mm hmm hmm they are one, two, three leagues in front of us, so it would be more than a surprise if we can go through this game. What an episode! Not only are we doing amazing in the in the um, in the league, I think we're doing really decent on the turns of market. Of course, I could do better, but I'm scouting a lot of players. So during the season, we should definitely sign still a lot of free agents. We're doing amazing financial wise. We're doing amazing in the FA Cup because we will play against Flight for the second time in this season before we even play against Beckley once. So that does not make sense. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash the like button. I will see you tomorrow, probably with another Shike, epi uh, Shike No Fear episode. Have an amazing day, guys, and bye.